and I want to take a few minutes this morning to express our love and appreciation to those who have prayed and fasted for our welfare in these past few weeks. We have felt the power of that prayer and that fasting and your thoughts that are sent heavenward in our behalf. The prayer of the righteous truly availeth much, and we have been the beneficiaries of those great blessings. My heart is filled this morning with gratitude to my Heavenly Father and to His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for many things. Fifty-six years ago, I opened the cover of the Book of Mormon as a young missionary in Bavaria, Germany, the circumstances at the time were difficult and critical for me. I have related this experience in a podcast and simply want to say that the Lord had me in the palm of his hand from then and still does now. As I read the words of that book and prayed for the first time in my life, desiring to know if it was true, the Lord in his grace and mercy answered that prayer and poured out upon me his spirit. And I received a personal witness through the power of the Holy Ghost, as Moroni promises that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God, that Joseph Smith was and is his great prophet, seer, and revelator, and that through the prophet Joseph Smith, was begun and continues forward to this very day. I love the Book of Mormon with all of my heart. I have made it a lifelong study. I have measured its message and tried its promises and found them all to be true. I love the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know it is the Savior's sacred church. Everything that has happened to me that is good and virtuous and lovely has come as a result of my membership in the church. I have a witness born of the Holy Ghost that President Nelson is a mighty prophet of God and that the Lord is using him to continue the restoration of all things spoken from the beginning by the mouths of the holy prophets. I look forward with anticipation and eagerness to what the Lord reveals through his mouthpiece here upon the earth. I love the Latter-day Saints. I love fellowshipping with them. My association with each one of you has blessed Margie and I's life beyond anything that I can comprehend. As you have shared your sacred experiences with us, 
we have been lifted and edified and have tasted heaven as a result of what you've shared. How we love each of you. I have a witness of God the Eternal Father, that he lives, that he loves each one of us with a love that we cannot possibly comprehend by words and can only begin to understand as we experience that great love. I testify to you of the living reality of the Lord Jesus Christ. His love and light and truth are marvelous, wonderful, and great. They have been so kind and merciful to Margie and I, and I want to publicly express my love my adoration, my gratitude for their mercy, grace, and loving kindness. I pray humbly that the Lord will bless each of you and your families, your husbands and wives, your children, your grandchildren, and for many of you, your great-grandchildren. These are challenging and difficult days that we are moving into. All of us will need to have the light of the Lord Jesus Christ, the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost, and a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ to successfully navigate the days that we're entering into. Challenging and wonderfully beautiful. With that love and appreciation, I now tell you that last night, I was excommunicated from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for apostasy. Margie and I are going to take a few days off and visit family, but we'll resume the Book of Mormon podcast series. My children, knowing all of these things, have expressed a desire that I continue the Book of Mormon project and finish what we started. These podcasts that will be put up from this point forward are for them, for my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and my posterity to come. You are welcome to listen in if you choose. May the Lord bless each one of you, I pray humbly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen.